Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your OBD Link MX Plus to do data logging. So when you op open the OBD Link uh, app, it looks like this. This is on an iPhone. Um, and on the top left, you see the settings. We're going to go into that. And then very top, you see preferences. We'll click there. And then under logging, we're going to set up a few things here. So for our trigger, it usually defaults to the GPS frame. I like to change that to the PID frame. And then if you're having difficulty getting it to work, you could try the fixed sample time. Um, but most of the time, the PID frame works fine. Um, then we go back in, in, in uh, logging control right here. I like to set it to manual so I can control exactly when I start and stop uh, the data log. Go back again, and then under select PIDs, under SAE PIDs, you can pick all of the different PIDs that you want to log for, you know, whatever things that you're trying to calculate. Um, obviously, there's built-in calculated PIDs for this you could choose. D uh, usually, the GPS is automatically turned on when you first open this app. So I like to turn those off down here at the bottom. And then once you get that set up, you should be able to go back to this page here, and you want to check your units. Um, obviously, you can change any of these units, but the one that matters the most usually is under airflow. You want to make sure that's under grams per second instead of pounds per minute, especially if you're doing mass airflow or fuel economy calculations. Uh, that should be good. So now we're going to go back to the main screen. And bottom right, we're going to click on logs. And then top right, click on menu. And once you get your vehicle connected, when you click on this menu, there will be an option down here at the bottom that says start logging. And then same thing for when you're done, you can stop logging here. When you stop the log, you will get a file that is saved on this page, and then you can export that file as a CSV. And uh, yeah, so that's it for this video. In the next couple of videos, I'll show you what to do with some of that data, whether you're calculating fuel economy or trying to determine if your mass airflow is good, stuff like that.